we're going to look at importing and downloading the AdventureWorks sample database into SQL Server so that we actually have something to query and not only have just some data to query, it's actually very extensive with uh, over 50 tables, I think around 70 tables of data, both in a fact or transactional and a dimensional format. So we can do anything we require within SQL. So through learn.microsoft.com, there is links to download the relevant AdventureWorks sample. Uh, what we can assume is that we're, you know, if we're running one of the newer versions of SQL Server, we can likely just use this backup file um, at the top here, which would be AdventureWorks 2019.bak. It's a special type of file that we can use to uh, almost point our system towards it, restore it, and we get this sample file uh, available within our SQL Server. So that will download fairly quickly, usually about a minute or two, um, and we have that available. But now we need to understand how we take this file um, and bring it into the correct location so that we can point SQL Server to it. So from within our file explorer, it'll be in the downloads. You need to cut, I would select to cut this file because we're going to paste it in the correct location. So in most cases, this would be in your this PC, in your local drive, so your C drive, your local disk. Um, and from here, you want to go into program files and you will want to navigate down to Microsoft SQL Server there. And from there, you will have this option. Uh, it'll look like this MS SQL 16. It may be slightly different depending on your version, but it will follow that general format. You will then have a subfolder within there, MS SQL, and then you will have backup there at the very top, that folder. And it's empty, that's good, that's fine. You just wanna paste in that file that we previously selected to cut. So much like copy paste, but cut will actually extract it from its previous locations. And it's now housed fine within the backups. And that's where we want to be because now we're going to point SQL Server towards it. So with that, we can get rid of the, uh, the file explorer and now just focus on SQL Server Management Studio, which is our interface uh, for SQL and using SQL to query data and create data within Microsoft. That's just Microsoft's version of SQL Server. So now we can go to our database and we want to hit restore database within the databases folder within the tree structure. So from here, it looks a bit intimidating. There's a lot of options. As long as you remember to hit device to select that um, checkbox, that circle there, uh, that's directly under database, then we can go in and, and actually select our backup file. So we can hit that ellipsis. Uh, there's nothing in the drop down correctly because we haven't pointed it to anything. So we hit that ellipsis three dots, click that, um, and we'll get backup media type. File is fine. We just need to add. So when we click on add, it should just point us directly to the backup file because I'm trusting uh, that you probably don't have a lot of, of these files, uh, the .bak extension hanging around. So we'll select AdventureWorks and that will go ahead. We can click OK and AdventureWorks is great. There's about 70 tables, I think, based on sort of a uh, mock uh, cycle manufacturing. So there's a load of dimensional data around people, around production, lots of schemas, which are just collection of data objects. So it's it's really good and comprehensive. You can you can pretty much build any project project with it. Just scroll through the options, everything looks fine. So all we actually need to do from here is click OK. It will take a few seconds usually. Um, and it says it's restored, which means we now have this available. What we should do is refresh our databases folder here. So you can right click, scroll down, just hit refresh. That will do it for you. What you can do if you want to be extra safe, uh, you can just refresh at the object explorer level here at the top above our database tree structure. Now, when we expand, we see that we now have AdventureWorks 2019. Uh, and when we, the core area we'll look at initially is tables, just to make sure we've got everything that we require. And all those tables have actually been populated with data. There hasn't been an error there. So when we expand that, we'll see a lot of tables. Like I said, there's different schemas such as DBO, human resources, person. But this is just how we're logically grouping our tables. You know, an address is related to a person, essentially. So we can select 
top 1000 rows, just query the data within the GUI just to make sure everything's present. So we'll right click, select that, and there we go. We will have our SQL will print off the script that it uses, um, and we have our data here. So address and so on, uh, lots of data uh, specifically around the people that interact with our business.